بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد the importance of seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never be reiterated enough times and I just wanted to mention a couple of things that our brother Abu Abbas, uh, our brother Abbas Abu Yahya, Hafidullah Ta'ala, that he compiled regarding this important subject of seeking forgiveness, as this is the appropriate time during this holy month of Ramadan. The first thing is knowing that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the one who forgives. From Ibn Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, ta who said, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah azza wa jal said whoever knows that I have the capability to forgive sins then I will forgive him and not care as long as he did not associate anything with me. Another important thing is to make forgiveness often similar to the way the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made forgiveness a hundred times a day. From Aghra radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, O oh, you people, repent to Allah and seek his forgiveness, since indeed I repent to Allah and seek his forgiveness a hundred times a day. Also, another important aspect of seeking forgiveness is seeking forgiveness for your parents. Allah the Almighty says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nuh, My Lord, forgive me and my parents and him who enters my home as a believer and all the believing men and women. Allah the Almighty says, وَقُولْ رَبَّرْ حَمْ أَرْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِي صَغِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And say, My Lord, bestow on them your mercy, as they did bring me up when I was small. So again, that's seeking forgiveness for one's parents. An Abi Urayrata radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed, Allah raises the grade of a righteous slave of his in paradise, so much that the slave of Allah says, O oh my Lord, from where is all this for me? He will say, By your son seeking forgiveness for you. And this was collected in Ibn Majah, Wa Ahmed, uh, Wa Ibn Abi Shaiba, and Al Musannif, Wa Ghair. So this shows us the importance again of having righteous children supplicating for us. We should supplicate for our parents, and we hope that our children will supplicate for us. Ya Allah, please. Bless our children with righteousness. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Abu Hassan al-Sindi, rahimahullah ta'ala, said in his explanation of Sunan ibn Majah, Therefore, it is necessary for the son to seek forgiveness for his parents. Sheikh Salim bin Fuzan was asked, My mother seeks forgiveness and makes tasbih a hundred times a day for her parents daily. What is the ruling of seeking forgiveness for parents after they have passed away? The Shaykh Allah Ta'ala answered, This is a good thing. Seeking forgiveness for parents and the Muslims and a, a person seeks forgiveness for himself, his parents and the Muslims. This is a matter which is legislated. And then he mentioned the ayat where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, My Lord forgive me and my parents and him who enters my home as a believer. Similar to Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam supplicated. Seek forgiveness for your sins and the believing men and women. Like Allah said to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, seeking forgiveness for a person, his parents, his relatives, and his Muslim brothers, the living and the dead is a matter which is needed, and a person should do this a lot. And finally, seeking forgiveness for the believers, which we should never forget. An Ubadat ibn Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I heard the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, Whoever sought forgiveness for believing men and believing women, Allah writes a good deed for him for every believing man and woman. And this was collected in Tabarani 
and Sheikh Al Albani declared it to be Hassan. And this shows us the importance of seeking forgiveness for one another, seeking forgiveness for our parents, seeking forgiveness for ourselves and the believers in general. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many sins that we commit in the day and we commit in the night. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with Jannah tabardos. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from kulli su wa makru. And may Allah azza wa jal bless us to be the inhabitants of Jannah tabardos and give guidance to his creation. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.